one, and welcome back to my Dong and Rongma gameplay. I am a little behind, and I apologize. Uh, <laughs> I was cleaning this uh, this morning, and then I uh, had to make make my smoothie to make sure I stayed uh, nice and um, not hungry. It's the word I was looking for there. Uh, I guess satiated would be another good word. Uh, if you hear a little bit of background noise, I'm trying something new. It's hot as Satan's asshole in here, so I'm leaving the air running today. I kind of, I tried a little noise suppression thing, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Really don't know if it's gonna work. I'm also busy sharing everything right now. Be like, hey, we're going live, um, because I, I'm a professional and I know what I'm doing. Uh, you do this on, you do this on stream, right? Going live with more, uh, more of the dang romps, because that's my favorite. Favorite. Yeah, we'll go. With, we'll go with dang it, Grandpa. Come watch. Uh, dong gone, dong gone. This is like all I use Tumblr for anymore, and I feel a little bad about that. Um, but I just don't use Tumblr all that much more. Ever since, uh, like all the artists got kicked off of it, pretty much. All right, post that onto the Tumblrs, and then let's make a post on the YouTubes. Bump a dip, dip, boom, bump, bump. Come on, watch, I watch. Me play more. Hashtag gone, gone, run, pa. Yeah, we're just gonna go with that. I'm short for time. And then last one, we go into the Discord. Hello, Ayilde, how you doing? Glad you can make it. I'm getting into the Discord now. God, it's so fucking hot in here. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's go into the Discord. Uh, content alerts at everyone. I don't even know if this thing works anymore, honestly. Uh, come hang out while I play more Don Gon Ronpa. Get Discord the hell out of here. Hello, hap hap hyperactive paranoid. How you doing today? Glad you can make it. Pull up the fucking thing here. God, fuck you, Streamlabs. Uh, one last thing. Turn this down a decibel more. There we go. Ah, Seb. Hey, how you doing, man? <clears throat> I'm doing. I'm doing all right. Sorry, I'm. 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 I'm a little little frazzled today. Did clean in this morning. Uh, had to make my smoothie. It's hot. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Um, but we're on, we're in daily life now. Last time we had, uh, what did we have in our last Dongan Rumpa? We had, um, the bit with, uh, 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 Taka. Um, and Mondo's thing. That was fun. I made friends with Sakura. It's a good time. It's a really good time. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's continue. Continue, yes. Uh, on the trains, the stream will probably be lagging me, but don't worry. Oh, okay, well, sorry. <laughs> on a train, huh? I don't think I've ever actually been on a train. I mean, I was on a train from San Diego to um, Encinitas when my buddy's truck broke down when we were driving through California. That was fun. What smoothie did I got? I got um, I got my blueberry, my typical blueberry. Um, different brand of blueberry this time. We, rather than getting generic brand, we actually got a name brand uh, fruit type thing. You can probably guess who it is. But so I'm hoping it'll taste a bit better. Um, yeah, good one. Sarax, hey, how you doing? Glad you can make it. Fair enough. Hope the hope the family stuff came up that came up yesterday is alright, Seb. I saw that and I, I I realized I didn't really address that, but I hope everything's okay. I really do. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get into this. So we're having a brief meeting with uh, the the class. Class is getting together, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> what are you talking about, bro? I don't remember what we're talking about. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What? Duh. Have a great day so far? Well, it's, it's, it hasn't been bad, Sarex. It's been alright. It's been hot. You know, cleaning isn't super fun, but it needs to get done. <clears throat> hey, Makoto! <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday! Huh? Are they friends now? No. They've been like, uh, like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? They tell my sister, kind of weird, but eh, we're here for some good more. Fair enough. But hey, you know, I, I, I can't really speak to this. Um, but 
to my understanding, and especially like coming out as a it's a big deal. So just know that we're here for you, Seb. Like that I, I want this community to be as positive and like as friendly as possible and as supportive as we can be. So just know we are, we are here for you at the very least, Seb. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, feels gross? Hell no, feels great, more like. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. <laughs> Forget her, bro. A girl like her uh, just doesn't get our manly bond. You hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Taka, you you had a good first half of that sentence there. Uh, that phrase there. Ain't that right. Well, you just said, bro, <laughs> bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. I accidentally just skipped something there. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Got it. Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. M uh, Makoto said something, apparently, and I accidentally skipped it like an idiot. What matters is that we both took part in it, in it together? That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Uh, yeah, for real. All through our breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. <laughs> a pretty unfortunate experience. <coughs> the whole Mondo Taka relationship was good. It's great. I'm digging it. I fucking love it. <clears throat> so, what should I do today? Hmm, who could that be? What the hell? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Hello? Toko? I'm suspicious. T Toko? What's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that annoying? <laughs> well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> I have a f f f favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with me. And where is it you want to go? Well, the library. Oh, are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Yakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. <laughs> That's <laughs> wow. Makoto getting a little little feisty. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's c go to the library. <laughs> to the library! Okay, I got it, the library. Jeez, why so pushy? Hey, Salsa, how you doing? <coughs> Glad you can make it. C c quiet, be quiet when you go in. It is a library, after all. Don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, <laughs> but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. <laughs> He's really here. The fuck is going on? Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. Bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. Toko needs backup to spy on her crush. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Have you seen Toko, Makoto? Have you really, have you really looked at her? <laughs> she ain't really hiding well. <laughs> Just standing up in the corner. Oh God, there were some books here I didn't get a chance to investigate uh, last time I was here. <clears throat> the shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. A true book lover might pass out looking at it. Coin! Because we broke his shit. What do we got here? An extension cord. I guess it's being used to connect the lamp to the power outlet. But where would you get something like this here in the school? Also, that's dangerous as shit. Put a rug over it at least. Come on. Fuck's sake, guys. Shelf is packed out with books. Whole thing incredibly dusty. Okay, so that's. We've got another coin there. What about this middle one here? I'm probably not gonna get one here, but we're gonna look for it anyway. Shelf is packed out with books. Looking at it. Whole thing incredibly dusty. Yep, yep, I figured. Ah, ding, ding, doodly done, figured. 
There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. Makes me not really want to touch it. It looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. Bring. Oh, yeah. We're making that money. Making that mono dough. Uh, is, am I, am I blind? Or oh, there's a lamp. <clears throat> that is the book shelf. All right, fine. Do I have to, like, angle it down here? There we go. It's a desk lamp. <laughs> The library is definitely pretty dark. I imagine this would come in pretty handy. Bless you. Bless you. <clears throat> My wife sneezed outside. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> Biaki's getting some use out of it, that's for sure. It's very cash money. <laughs> uh, what's up, Toko? <laughs> just just <laughs> Makoto walking back to the corner like, Hey, Toko, how's it going, Toko? Toko, what are you doing in this corner, Toko? <laughs> Come on, just talk to him. All right, fine. Hi, asshole. He seems to be really focused on that book. Not It wasn't a second ago. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ow. Uh, so you notice me, huh? Naturally. You're. Of course, now hurry up and leave. <laughs> and take her with you. Hey, um... Yakuya? Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men, be a woman dominated by a strong man? Hmm. I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Get out. Please, get, get out. And go take a bath, you smell. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> don't make me repeat myself. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. Hey, Pantheos! How you doing? I'm glad you can make it. O okay. Oh! Wow! Hold the fucking you smell! He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. He's always in a bad mood, Makoto. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Biakia, to go that far. He must be really concerned about me. Don't. Don't do that. Don't. Don't do that. Huh? He told me to t take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Sure. Yeah, that tracks. Hey, M Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Byaki and I would be good together? Um, well, no, I, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. There's really no way to know. Uh, but the distance between us doesn't change our love. Oh, it really is, Seb. It really is. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. <coughs> oh. Okay. There might come a day when you understand. Maybe. Someday. Well, bye. Bye! Please never speak to me again. <laughs> Hi, asshole! Ah, oh, young love! <clears throat> <laughs> Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you handle this. <coughs> All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Cool. <laughs> what an awful experience. There's still some time left in the day. What to do? All right. <coughs> Excuse me be shipping to it really is um all right so here's the deal here's the deal do it is how much more soccer is there because dreams is hard oh you don't need to do that pantheos like if, if you, you you need to sleep sleep is very important as much as i sleep like garbage <laughs> it's very important uh sakura Let's see, because I already got breathing technique, and I already got tranquility. How much more Sakura is there? I know I haven't gotten the star yet for her. Which is supposed to be, like, the, signify the end of it. Is it even possible to get a star for Sayaka and Leon? I guess it will be more Sakura. Alright. Let's go talk to Sakura. Leave, leave the area? Yes. I always like to imagine that the narrator sounds like, uh, like the Smash Brothers guy. <laughs> Leave the area! Uh, map. 
Where's the map? Where's the map? Only one more forest star. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll do that then. Um, let's see. Mundo is in the where? Why are you in the warehouse, Shiro? Uh, laundry room. Oh, okay. Well, that's easy. It's right here. <clears throat> <clears throat> hey, Hina. I'm here to talk to Sakura. <laughs> Makoto, I... Actually, never mind. So what did you want? Hmm, should I talk with Sakura for a while? Spend some time with Sakura. Let's see if we can get the star. You know, Makoto, you seem a little thin for a man. Well, I mean, <laughs> these aren't muscles. These are bones with sleeves. <clears throat> so we've been getting up around 3, and we don't get proper meals at proper times. Yeah, I get that. Like, I I go to I go to sleep at like twelve thirty, which I have to get up at like six thirty. So like, I still get at least six hours of sleep, but then I like don't eat. <laughs> I have like one meal a day. It's like my breakfast is a hard boiled egg. I have a smoothie in the morning, so at least there's that. Then I have a, a, a cup of noodles, ramen for lunch, and then I have dinner. <coughs> a savage roast and like a yeah. It said, said boiled it down right there. <laughs> Cause we've been getting, I got three, that's brutal. <clears throat> uh, how about I help you bulk up a bit? Sleep next if we can. Yeah. Even then, I don't, because I have so much to do, like, in the mornings, and then I record on Saturdays, so then I edit before I stream, and then I finish editing, and then a lot of times I have D&D &D in the evenings and Saturdays. Sundays are a little bit less time, but are a little less hectic, but I clean in the mornings, and then I stream, so then I have the afternoon at least, but that means I don't really sleep in. <laughs> Sakura subjected me to a harsh, borderline cruel trading session. <clears throat> Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sakura a present? Sure. I don't know if I have anything. Uh, anything that Sakura would like. Um, I know I I gave her all the things that I I knew. Do 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 do. Hopes peak scare brooch. I gave her. I already gave her a god of warm charm. I gave her the glasses, or the gloves on the glasses. The wraps? I was thinking the bindings. That seems fitting. Yeah, I'm guessing these are all for Hifumi. She loves the wraps? Okay, cool. We're gonna go with the wraps then. <clears throat> I know, Seb. I say, I. <laughs> it's so hard to like... I don't know, follow what you preach, I guess, when it comes to things like that. I'm trying to be better about it. I started working out again. I'm trying to drink more water. I'm trying to actually eat and get sleep. With moderate success, I'm at least keeping up with my workout schedule, for the most part. And I'm going on more walks. I'm going on more walks. Uh, mask. Mask for safety, but I am going on more walks. <coughs> so. things. Are, good progress. <laughs> Alright, we'll go for the fresh bindings. Uh, strips of cotton cloth. They were once commonly used for underwear and bandages. They say when you wrap it around yourself, both body and soul become taut. Hot. What? Ah, I've been looking everywhere for this. How did you know? Huh. You're quite a mysterious man, Makoto. Seeing Sakura so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <clears> hey. <throat> so have you decided? Decided what? Huh. Decided not to laugh at my story. <clears throat> oh, you're talking about Kinshiro? I mean, I honestly don't know what there is to laugh at. So then. then join me in my room and I will continue my story. Just the two of us. Huh? Just the two of us in her room? Baby steps, yeah. <laughs> Sakura practically dragged me to her room, like by the back of the collar. Hina's just like, ah, uh, okay, bye. <laughs> Sakura's room is pretty much exactly how I would have imagined it. But hanging out in a girl's room, just us, getting kind of nervous. And it being Sakura makes me nervous for a whole other reason. Hey. Is there a reason you're glancing around? Oh, sorry. Well, then. Anyway, I shall continue my story. Oh, yeah, the one, the one and only Kinshiro. <clears throat> That's right, my lifelong rival and my, my first love. Oh, first love? Did you just laugh? <laughs> no, I definitely didn't. I mean, it's pretty surprising and all, but you made the choice to tell me the story. So, of course, I'm not going to laugh. I would never. I, I'm ashamed of myself. I underestimated you. I'm sorry. I beg your forgiveness, Makoto. N no, that's totally not necessary. Hmm. I just didn't want to be laughed at. Can you imagine a girl like me using the word love? 
So in the end... And being shy about saying it's even more girly, right? I creep myself out, to be honest. But you are a girl. You're allowed to have a feminine side. Well... But my goal is to become the strongest warrior on the planet. Por que no los dos? Maybe, but you don't have to be manly to find that kind of strength. Huh? Are you okay? Mm. Yes, I just... You made me remember something. Kinshira once said something very similar. I'd forgotten about that. Mm. But there's no point in, uh, point in recalling his words now. I really am a girl, so dragging his words with me like a chain around my neck. Huh? What do you mean? He might already be gone. Right now, Kinshiro is... Huh. He's fighting. Oh, oh, geez, I thought you were gonna say... Well. He's fighting an illness. Oh! Oh man, there's all there's this whole bunch of turns into the story and I'm feeling things. Huh? Hmm. When they found out, they said he only had six months to live. But six months has come and gone and he's still fighting. That's just how he is. He would never let a disease beat him. He has to get better. He's the strongest human alive. I admit that. No, I believe that. S Sakura. Huh. I visited him once. He lost so much weight, he looked like an entirely different person. But you know what he said? He told me that now I was the strongest human alive. That I had taken the title. He said he'd return someday to get the title back. He said I'd better not let anyone else take it. However... He didn't need to say that last part. I'll never give up that title. Not until he gets better. And when that day comes, I will defeat Kinshiro and earn that title for real. And that's why I have to get stronger. I had no idea. That's my biggest reason for becoming the strongest human alive. I'm sorry for wasting your time with such a long-winded story. Well, I'm not even sure why I told you. I think that somehow you remind me of him. Me? Mm. Me? Well, in certain ways. Your build is obviously different, but you both have a strong core. Strong core? No, I look, I eat ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> you don't have to be modest. I know strength when I see it. Okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like I've, I've come to understand Sakura so much better. I think maybe we finally become friends in the truest sense of the word. Sakura's report card. Oh, the achievement's called Love Sport. Sakura's report card updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. <laughs> Back to the smash thing. Hey, look at you go. Awesome. We're friends with Sakura now. It's going to be a real shame when she dies. <laughs> Because, remember, kid's gonna die in this. I don't know if Sakura's gonna die. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, but, whoo, it's gonna be a real fucking shame if it happens. We talked for a little while longer, then I went back to my room. <clears throat> uh, that's just how, that, that's just how it, how it, how it be. It's like Homestuck, kids just be dying. If I'm, <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know. I only know a few things, and I don't, I don't want to say anything if it's actually a spoiler. Ahem. The school announcement. Wait, there's only 10 left. School announcement. Hold on, hang on. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Emergency! Emergency! Uh oh, I was not prepared. Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. I don't like this. <laughs> Oh no. Leave the area? Yes. <clears throat> hey, uh, Kyoko? Help! Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Indeed. Yes. <clears throat> I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to d defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Hey, Mondo. Help. <clears throat> Yo. Hey, man, you about to head in? <clears throat> yeah, has everyone already gone on ahead? <laughs> Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing's gonna, nothing, but nothing good's gonna come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Um, Mondo? Are you sure you're okay? You kind of went all out in that sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. But, you know, <laughs> they're at the edge of hell. A promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Yo. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. Unique. Sure, let's go with that. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Who's dead? 
Who's dead? Well, <laughs> controls. A little wonky sometimes. Makoto, they're dating. <laughs> Come on, man. Read the room. <clears throat> oh, I don't like this. Hey, Ifumi. I, I, I guess I have to talk to you. Hey, Ifumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? Why? I'll let you handle that. <laughs> Blub. That? Mr. Nagy, don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's why my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. Damn, that's true too. I, I suppose. guess we have no choice. I have to go too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Is that the, that old seal meme? <laughs> Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this? What could he possibly want? Well, indeed. What might await us this time? <clears throat> <laughs> he keeps things interesting. That's for certain. How was that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Fuck's sake, Miyakuya. Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? Hmm. Real just digging, just digging that hole deeper, Hifumi. There's something totally messed up if you, uh, with you if you can laugh at, at a time like this. Hmm. Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm? Huh? <clears throat> no, okay, yeah, right, right, Seb. I was like, wait, hang on, hold on. <clears throat> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here, living in blind denial day after day. Hmm. I was just I was just admiring how you could live with like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me, remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come to help us? How did that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well, well that that's that's just Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck! Alright, Hifumi, we're getting them points back. Hmm. <clears throat> On the contrary, the mastermind may have uh, just be that powerful to the control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but... <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gonna say it. <laughs> it's not like some it's about last night. I was near the main hall just staring off into space. You know, like I do. When all of a sudden... I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. Hmm. What kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, it, it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? I mean, I could just be making that up. I, I did <laughs> smoke a big old doobie right before. I only just barely heard anything. Then you definitely made it up. M must have been the sound of the ocean in that that head of yours. Say what? What you talk about, Toko? Who's who's speaking? Hold on. I mean, I guess it was Monokuma, right? <laughs> what drugs? Where did you get them? <laughs> and why aren't you sharing? <laughs> He's arrived. <laughs> what you heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Yeah. Or maybe a machine gun? <laughs> Look, that can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? What? Ah, 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 beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. And? Fine, then let's move on to what you, what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, do you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably become a, uh, become of this, probably because of this whole hum boring old everyday life. <clears throat> I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation, something rife with danger and intrigue. <clears throat> Listen, can I just be frank? Can't you kids start murdering each other? <laughs> the next Blacken hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored! Hey. So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. <laughs> motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Damn it. Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say! Just awful! You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore! 
No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Hmm. Hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time, it's embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's, given, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. <clears throat> so I did a little investigating on my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those <coughs> embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. Okay. All right. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched up the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. What? How? How do you find about this? <laughs> Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours, someone doesn't become blackened by then. All your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. <clears throat> Maybe I'll roll, uh, roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with the loudspeakers and spill the beans! <laughs> Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you mean by motivate. <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but is it that big a fucking deal? We'd never kill s over some something like that. What? What'd you say? Count on He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of oh. depressing. Oh no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little bit better. So sad, so depressed, fair not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um... I mean, yeah, having the secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing, but that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me! Good news! Good news, everyone! <clears throat> I have a brilliant idea! You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? That's not a- that's actually a really good idea. Without a doubt. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. <clears throat> okay, so my embarrassing thing is... I, I just don't want to hear your stupid s story. What? <laughs> Besides, I don't- I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. Neither do I. Not because it isn't pleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> <clears throat> I bet if Fumi Seeker is genuinely horrifying, it probably is, honestly. <laughs> Care situation is just... No, yeah, you're, you're not wrong, Seth. It's like, I got some embarrassing shit that, that I wouldn't willingly say, but in this situation, it's like, it's either that or someone fucking dies? <clears throat> Adaptation of Clue? More or less. R1OT274, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Sharing the secret so good. Oh, that's There's also like the whole thing about like knowing, like keeping your, uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, R1OT274. <clears throat> Riot. I got there. <laughs> got it, got it. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Riot. Um, people sharing this. Oh, anyway, but it's like that whole thing was like you not knowing a wizard's uh, or a demon's true name that gives you power over them kind of a thing. And the Clue movie was fun. The Clue movie is so good. <clears throat> Absolutely not. Come on. It's okay, come just a little on. bit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck oh. off of me. As I said, come on, 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 come on. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Say what? what did you expect, dipshit? I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Shihiro? Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... Oh. You know what? That is kind of a big deal. But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, uh... If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If, everyone that, if everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. 
Well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's gonna have to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with, the, with all the secret talk, but... Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty! The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I, I know it's gonna be tough, but... <clears throat> they screen three different endings and secrets. Yeah, uh, so like, they and there are ways where they could justify each of the endings. And it's I love that they did that. It's so cool. <clears throat> The doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. <clears throat> I got a mouthful of smoothie. <coughs> hey Don, oh you're fine. Only a half an hour in. How you doing? Glad you can make it. <clears throat> Nighttime already, huh? Okay, let's all call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to, to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but... We left things as they were, and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. <clears throat> Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. It really does depend on your secret, I guess. If it's like, oh boy, I don't know. Like, well, like wedding the bed until you're in fifth grade, that's not something to kill over. Uh, there's a couple, maybe. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Boy, yeah, boy, fucking all right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. <clears throat> Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? There, but there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, is way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation. Resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. <sighs> <coughs> Hello there, General Kenobi. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good ah! Ah! Morning. Fucking hell! The <laughs> fucking. <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What? What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun. And as long as I'm here, I forgot I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates. What? Say what? <laughs> what? Your face is all blue like someone on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone. Is it... Was it... No, it can't be. There's no way someone would... But what if? <laughs> There's a lot of... No, what is are pointless? Especially now when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Who's dead? Who's dead? <laughs> I, I'm not... Okay, soccer's fine. Okay, soccer's fine. Ah, Makoto! Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... You! <laughs> What's your name again? Byakuya. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? <clears throat> Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, 
or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. Murder? <laughs> and I brought you mur. Murder? Judas, no! <clears throat> After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. The happy little psycho. Happy little, happy little, happy little psycho. It's a Corpa Clani song for you, except it's Boozer, not Psycho. <clears throat> it took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um... so, 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 if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Hmm. Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook, do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. <clears throat> it's every man for himself. What good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just the one Stop saying that already! Uh, uh, There's something wrong with him for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. <clears throat> the game is afoot. I hate you. I hate. Let's just check the kitchen. That fine quote. I love that vine so much. <clears throat> uh, man's gonna be a jerk during this forgot. Oh, good. I mean, he's always a jerk. Yeah, yeah. Like he's just a dickhead. That's that's his personality trait. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> All right. All right. And Matt probably ain't gonna tell me shit. Well, apparently Hina's in the hallway area here. You went to the trash room. Okay. A murder. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I was just thinking about that one. I knocked on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all go to see what happened? Oh, then what about the second floor of the school? That's the one place that's, all, that's new to all of us, so it seems like the natural place for... I'm here. Alright, uh, soccer is in the trash. <clears throat> Extra trigger crystal stuff? Oh, great. Great, looking forward to that. <clears throat> there doesn't appear to be anything here. What are you doing here, Sakura? Did you find something? Oh, no. It's just that what you said the other day must have been lurking in the back of my mind. Huh? Perhaps. If something has happened, the killer might try to use it to destroy evidence again. I suppose I was floating around my subconscious and it led me here. Okay, fair. Leave the area! All right, all right, all right, all right. So, clearly it's on the second floor, because Hina hinted as such. Thanks, Hina. <laughs> let's, let's, ah, yeah, this way. Oh, oh! That was a good one. That was a good, that was a good old popper there. Is anyone here? Uh, you're, who is this, Byakuya? Ah, that's the only one that's left. Oh, no, Hero. I forgot about Hero. <laughs> I mean, can you blame me? What's up, man? Yo. Hey, Makoto. Honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? About Byaki. You think he's been brainwashed or what? Is it off something? I... I don't know. You know more about that kind of thing than, uh, than me, right? I, I fucking tripping over my words. What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic, right? Hey. Listen, Makoto, I think you completely misunderstood what it is I do. Okay, listen. Fortune telling is like... Well? It's totally different from brainwashing or hypnosis or any of that pseudoscientific bullcrap. Uh. I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudoscience? Sorry, but I don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> I don't want to get yelled at. Uh, okay. Uh, Hero's the only one that's here. Oh. Let's go to the second story. <laughs> Alright, uh... Where's the map? Where's the map? Where's the map? Yaki is in the library. What you got? Did you get anything? Did you find anything? Asshole! The extension cord isn't plugged in. Where's the extension cord? Hmm. There's nothing here of interest, don't you agree? You should go look somewhere else. Alright, the extension cord's missing. I don't know if that's important. Leave the area? Alright, okay, alright, okay, alright, okay. I 
I don't know where else to fucking go. Um, I mean, they said second floor. I'm gonna assume the pool area? There's explosion, machine gun, Monokuma said. Alright, let's, uh... Huh? The door's open, but they're supposed to... Aren't they supposed to be locked? Hmm. Hmm, okay. For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. I investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Biakia! The fuck did you come from? Did you fucking flash step over here? I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. C come on! In the locker rooms, they're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. This is just an excuse to get in the girls' locker room, isn't it, Biakia? He was muttering, as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Who be dead? Who is it? Bloodlust. Jihiro, no! No! What? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... Oh, Chihiro! A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Oh, no! <laughs> F. Grishi. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me, like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Byaki, on the other hand. <laughs> sweet, precious, sweet, sweet, dear Chihiro. <clears throat> Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm. Almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. Oh my gosh. Oh. Why does the girls' locker room have the same poster in it? Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust. Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Would you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Hmm. It's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? <clears throat> my head was swimming. I was still reeling, too, confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head... What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming! Did something... Chihiro? Oh. Not Chihiro. <laughs> a body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Oh my gosh. What the hell was that? What? Oh, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement pleads to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed... fairly? The body discovery announcement? Then Chihiro really is... Naturally. Dead, yes. <gasps> d d d d d d Before you start screaming your head off, go around, go around everyone up. It seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time had all passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Shihiro's body. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim! <sighs> Which means we are now in the same position once again. Yeah. Fuck, man. What the fuck is this? What? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. Shut up, idiot. You're not helping. <laughs> Thanks, Celeste. Shut up. 
<laughs> oh boy, all right. What do we got here? Chiro, my baby didn't deserve it. They didn't. Chiro did not deserve it. No, there are more important things to worry about than, right, than a dumbbell. Are you sure about that? <laughs> For now, pay attention to the wall. Huh? I said it once already. There's a word written there. On the wall? Sure. The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. So... I don't think it, it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. But you know, the thing about writing bloodlust in blood doesn't sound kind of familiar. A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. And at the scene of each crime, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the in uh, internet give to this mysterious serial killer? What? What? Genocide Jack! <clears throat> Didn't write numbers to stop me out. Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend whose grisly attacks are famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. And this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. What? The real. Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! Th there's no way! Hmm. But going so far as to write bloodlust on the c at the scene, I am surprised by their own stupidity. Well, I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Uh. <laughs> when is it now? Toko! Hino is pointing to uh, Hino's pointing toward the entrance of the girls' locker room. Uh, uh. Toko was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. N no? What? Wh why? 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 Gadunk. She fainted! That did not sound good! T Toko! Hino rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. <laughs> Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Oh, oh that's right. I just remember what she said. Uh, how she faints anytime she sees blood. Oh. So she's hemophobic. I imagine she doesn't want to uh, watch too many horror films then. Uh, oh. This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. No, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Hmm. Ah, so since she didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. Just a sure, buddy. Sure, hero. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up! As if she'd hear her. Toko suddenly shot awake. Or as if she heard her, sorry. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction, I was at a total loss for words. She slipped straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. In no time flat, she was just standing up. Ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through, her motions were totally haphazard. Huh. What? Sorry about that. I was just so shocked, you know? It happens, right? Was I the only one? T Toko? Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? What the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. The world has a front and a back, a top inning and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. Well... This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, 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 everything's fine. At least the, the stutter's all gone. That's a good thing, right? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Mm. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being, and maybe tie her down. Mm. I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Taka, could you help me? <laughs> huh? She totally ignored me, as is, you know, the appropriate reaction. Mm. Very well. You take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. I can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Oh, hold on a second, rushing to an investigation? Hmm. The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. <laughs> Don't make me there is no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hmm. The fungus among us. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Of course! Right as rain! But don't take it as a bad thing, it's just a fact of life! Because that's how graduation works! Then it's happened again. Is that what you're saying? She possessed by stone or or something. <laughs> That's an that another, another one of us. Another one of us killed. A fellow classmate? What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? 
is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Yeah. Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry. Makoto, please use your brain, <laughs> right? Fucking focus, dude. Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to uh, give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I sure did, chum. It's the file. Allow me to present the Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. So please do your very tippy-top best on this investigation. No way! Do we really gotta do another investigation? Hina. <laughs> Examining the corpse of one of our friends. Having to suspect all our other friends. Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. <gasps> I hate it too! <laughs> I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey. Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body a simple, is a simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all this, aren't, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump into it so soon. What? Go get some food, Sosa. <clears throat> what? Do you want to die? Such ignorance. Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. Uh, you're a waste of space. Hey, that's Hussey's title. Damn you. A dead body is an object? Chihiro wasn't an object, so a little specter all beats him in India. Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakuya said. Kyoko? If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if Byakuya is right that Genocide Jack is some of the one who killed Chihiro, right. then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. What? Forget more victims, if we mess this up, we're all dead meat! Hey, hey! Hold on, hold on, if that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer! If anyone killing uh, in any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. What? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually, I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? The new rules were added to the regulations menu. So in that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey, well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. Yeah. <laughs> just one would totally murder that possibility. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. <laughs> Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You, son of a you need to shut the fuck up! <laughs> well, well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop Toko off at her room. Nice, I'm gonna get dropped off. There is nothing to be done. What the hell is that supposed to mean? We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation, uh, Tot Suite. Tot Suite. <coughs> if we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, okay? then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Investigate. Ooh. First of all, I better check the Monokuma file to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Chihiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was to a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Nice! Monokuma file number two has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hmm. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? Did you need something from me? Naturally. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know. Um, so what do you need? I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. S solve? No, I just... Stop talking. <clears throat> you seem to have some kind of limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. Fuck off. Everyone everyone named Byakuya sucks. Sorry if your name is Byakuya. <laughs> so, you're inviting me to come with you? You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But, but, I'm just thinking Byakuya Kuchki from Bleach, because, man, he sucked. <laughs> Doesn't matter if he had the right idea about anything, he's an asshole. We need to get moving, there's no time to be standing around. <laughs> How generous of you allowing Makoto to do all the work for you. Fucking right? You can help me by doing everything and I'll take the credit for it. Typical rich kid. <clears throat> I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Byakuya on this one. Alright, now we can investigate. Alright, let's talk to everybody first, and then we'll look at the clues. Dude, it's real complex about being weak. 
You heard her talk about it, right? All I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember what how she said that one more than once. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't all that strong. I don't know, man. I haven't really thought about that stuff. The cause of here is complex. I can't help but wonder what that might what it might be. Mono's account has been added to the truth bowl section. What is that gonna help with? Hold on, I didn't get anything out of that! Sakura, what's up? I use this locker room all the time. Now, it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else than carried here. She was very light, that is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still. I still think she came here on her own by choice. What makes you say that? She'd been talking a lot about how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise? At two in the fucking morning? You know what? No one would have been around. But according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around two in the morning. Would she really be exercising that late? Perhaps. Hina and myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she pro was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Mm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to, to avoid us. And instead she came to exercise in the middle of the night? However. Perhaps, but it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but that she would also would have come with someone else. It's a possibility, I think. Okay, okay, that's a fair point. Sakura's account out of the truth bullets. Okay, okay. Alright. Okay. Byakuya, shithead. If you've time to talk, you've time to start investigating. Alright, fuck off. I want to see if you had some insight, but clearly you don't. Asshole. She took her time examining Chihiro's corpse. She poked and prodded, going over every inch of the lifeless body. Hmm. You're a very strange woman, you know, being able to touch a dead body with absolutely no trouble. She seems to be concentrating pretty hard. It's like she can't even hear us. Alright, now let's look at the clues here. What do we got? Alright, uh, we got this. We got the dumbbells. There's a dumbbell on the floor, and... This is a blood stain. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell! <laughs> the Monokuma files had a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. Does that, does that mean this dumbbell was actually the murder weapon? That's right. I don't imagine it could have been anything else. <laughs> Kyoko, you're just ignoring her. Locker room dumbbell is out of truth bullets. Alright, cool. Now I believe it's about time for us to move on. What? I, 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 there's other things here! What? Uh, already? What? New clues won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. That's true, but I haven't looked at the body yet! Let's go. Don't turn your back on the body, Byakuya! If you're satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. He's so pushy. I got caught up with the wrong person this time. You idiot! So this is our next location. Fucking hell. Uh, this place is related to the investigation? Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? Sure! They mentioned a machine gun! Maybe this gun was used to- No, possible. Our will be riddled with holes. Yeah! Yeah! Okay! Alright, what about the scanner? If I remember right, this card reader is meant to work with our handbooks, right? Okay. Okay. What? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. He said that, then quickly sh and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? You called for me! Has he been dis domesticated? That's right. <laughs> it seems that Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Sure, what's up? Um, well, it's about this card reader. Yes, the card readers have all been designed to interfa uh, interface with each of your e-handbooks. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. And it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? If there were some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl... The ceiling mounted Gatling gun would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter! And the school regulations prohibit anyone from lending someone else their handbook, correct? Of course! Correctly correct! So then... That means only girls can go into the girls' locker room, and only boys can go into the boys' locker room. In other words, Shihiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means... Hey, Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me? Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Shihiro was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Good lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer's been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. 
I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Togami family. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. Hmm. Knowing you, I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. Yeah, <sighs> You're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Yep. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying that's a loophole, but in order to borrow someone from, something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it. So, uh, so sleepy. Just letting you make me want to pass out. Be more like Byaki and get your poop together. I'm or else I'll charge you with criminal negligence. No more questions. Figure out the rest of your damn self. <laughs> Fair. Well, I know you are unfortunately lacking in mental faculties, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall? That'll help you understand what's going on. <sighs> Let me do my shit! Byakuya. We came to the main hall. So what are we looking for here? <laughs> I think my dog heard a noise. <laughs> Does that mean I have to figure it out for myself? <sighs> what, what, we, what, what is this? What is this? Surveillance camera and there's, and what I can assume is Gatling gun, gun attached to it. It's so chilling. What about this? The hunk of metal block at the entrance seems like some kind of machine. Are we in a vault? <laughs> is this what, run by Vault Tech? This is a Fallout game, actually. There's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? It's an e-handbook? No, wait, there's three of them. But what are they doing here? Hmm. <laughs> she's she's making noise, apparently. So you finally found them. How huh? did you know they were here? Uh, these were here, Byakuya? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. It seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. This is a Vault-Tec school, certainly explains like, Fucking right with the shit Vault-Tec did, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past them. I hit my, my fucking camera, excuse me. So then these three handbooks belong to... Junko, Leon, and Sayaka? Hmm. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I immediately turned... <clears throat> I don't know what that voice was. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks, and when it did... When I did... Ba -da -da -da. Sayaka Maizono? You're right, this is Sayaka's handbook. Hmm. Now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. You should pay close attention to the regulations as been fighting me the entire time. Loaning or e-handbook is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else is perfectly fine. So they go and borrow it from... Oh, shit. Okay, so they go and borrow it from the mailbox from one of the dead girl students to then use it to get into there. Okay. I see. Yeah, now I understand. So what the, the killer could have been male. Uh, could have been one of the boys to grab it and get in there. Main Hall E Handbooks is an added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. What? Hmm? Hold on a second. What's wrong? Very strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? Junko's? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. Then the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? Oh, okay. See. It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. The memory of it came flooding back. The cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind concocted. A cruel, heartless death. You're right. I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during that kind of assault. That was really brutal. Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! <laughs> what? That e-handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it did. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it won't do crap, or wouldn't do crap. Oh, but uh, even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does? I can't hear you. But it's a secret. I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks. What? Then Liam must have broken it somehow without realizing what his weakness was, right? Hmm, hmm hard to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. But you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. What just happened? The fuck was that? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. That's 
fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. That's weird. Broken e handbook, act of the truth bullets. <laughs> okay then, this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. Hmm. To be exact, not quite. Not quite? The fuck are you talking about? What are you? What? <laughs> what do you mean by that, Biakia? To be exact, not quite. Certainly I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then, you really think... You truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Don't make me Absolutely. Yourself. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. <clears throat> that murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? What? There's nobody else that could be. A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost that can suddenly the slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. Genocide Jack. They say he's killed thousands of people, but that's gotta be an urban legend. Still, could one of us really be a demented psychotic killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder. What killing him be really spent. Yeah, it might it had to be, right? Welcome back, Salsa! You missed a whole lot of Biaka being an absolute dickhead. But Warden's being little right now. I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. Then do it! Okay, fine. Oh, hang on, he had another thing in there. Hold up! Uh, and I have a basis to believe that. I assure you, Genocide Jack is one of us. Is there really proof? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. It's all clear. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro. Evidence? Does something like that, like that really... Uh, hey, you two! Is it... Oh, hey, Tina! Big trouble! Need your help! I don't have time. We're busy. Leave us alone. <laughs> I mean... But it's an emergency! Emergency! Come on, please, you gotta help me! Hina, what's up? Hold on. Hold, time out. Time out. F hold the phone. This is a serious emergency. Please, please, you gotta help me. Just calm down, okay, Hina? But, but, it's an emergency. An emergency? What happened? Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do, Byakuya? Since it's Toko, I must admit I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. <laughs> I... I didn't expect that. I thought for sure you'd just say no and that'd be the end of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, hurry! Wait for us, Hina! Let's go. It looks like she headed to the dorms, to Toko's room, most likely. You're right. Oh, a double degree title. Oh, you know what? That's fair. Oh, oh, oh that felt good. What's up, Yakuya? Such You're talking to the wrong person, you waste of space. Alright, again, I said that's Hussy title, but alright, I appreciate it. Is Toko inside? Some kind of emergency? Ding dong! Hina! You guys are too slow! I think you're just too fast. So, what's this emergency? So, um... Talk is dead! <laughs> well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay down. After all, she came back to check on her. Or we came back to check on her. You know, see how she was doing. But when we did, mm. it was weird. She refused to come out and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff. That's fine. We should start talking to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. Alright. I don't wanna. I may as well give it a shot. <laughs> hmm! The door swung open, slowly and silently. Hi? Holy crap! An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that... Uh... Hina was really worried about I'm uncomfortable. You pulling yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? I won't allow it. Huh? I won't let Genocide Jack have control. FBI, <laughs> open up. Just get Sakura to kick the fucking thing in. And just like that, she slammed the door in my face. Okay. Alright. So is this a split personality thing? What was that? Hmm. She's been acting like that the whole time. When I rang a little while ago... Oh, 
Oh, it's drive out the killer. Drive out the murderous fiend. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down, down her door. But I felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. Toko was scared enough to even bar her door? Does she think the same thing as Byakuya? Does she think the serial killer genocide Jack really murdered your hero? Makoto, you really are fucking stupid sometimes. <laughs> is that why Toko's so scared? What? Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to, able to persuade her? I, I don't know. I don't know. This would really feed into the whole split personality thing. Would really feed into the whole like to Toko writes the stories of the murders that happen. Because isn't she the she's a, she's the, she's the ultimate mystery writer? I don't remember. I don't remember. Most of because I didn't care. <laughs> hey Bianca, you think you could ask her to come out of her room? I mean, that's fine. Sure, whatever. Oh, that's right. She has a crush. Romance novelist. I thought that for some reason she was a murder novelist. I don't know. <laughs> mystery novelist. Oh, you're gonna talk to her, Bianca? Wow, I guess you can be nice when you want to. This isn't about, this isn't altruism, <laughs> this isn't altruism here. Byaki stood in front of her door, not making a sound, I pressed the doorbell. Ding dong. After a few moments. What do you want? Leave me alone, you're all s so annoying. <gasps> Bla Bacula. It's Byakuya. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't keep our promise. But don't worry, never again. I won't let you just like Jack have control ever again. And with that, the door slams shut. Even Byaki, uh, even Byaki couldn't pull it off. Hmm. There's nothing else we can do. Let's go back to the investigation. Hold on! Hey, Byaki, what was Togo talking about just now? Something about a promise? What? Hmm? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of his delusions, I'm sure. But Stop if I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Well then, let's go. Without waiting for a reply, Byakuya sped away. B Byakuya! And I hurried to catch up. Uh, Makoto! Leave this shithead to his own devices. I tried to uh, talk to him several times as we walked. I <laughs> his name. <laughs> but he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. He just kept on walking toward his destination. Finally, his feet brought him to a stop in front of a certain room. The library! The library? Hmm. Come on, let's go in. That's the thing, is that I, the only other person that I know that we came here was Togo came with us in here to talk to Byakuya. We ha there was an extension cord there. The extension cord is missing now. Alright, what's up, asshole? Um, is the evidence that proves it was Genocide Jack really in the library? Don't make me repeat myself. Sure. <laughs> I mean... Where's the extension cord? There are no clues there. We need to check elsewhere. I've tried, but yeah, but I died. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not even reading it because he's just—he's just. All right, let's see. What else is there? All right. Have I not checked every- Oh, wait, no. There's another room here. If I remember on this side of this door, it's the archive, right? I don't think I've ever actually gone into this room. Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here? Let's go. It'll all make sense once you're inside. He could just say where- Yeah, just like, that door. Oh, there's so many books and files. And so much dust, too. So in other words I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. All right. All right, asshole. What do we got? <clears throat> There's a wooden box. It's empty. Although, judging by the smudges and the dust, it looked there was something inside. I wonder what it was. Hmm. There was an extension cord plugged in here, in there, uh, or plugged in there. It proved very useful while I was in the library. An extension cord, huh? That's not a clue. That's not a truth bullet. Huh? It's a desk lamp. Oh yeah, it's the same one I saw Byaku using in the library before. The one that was in there before he walked into the archive? What? 
you have a problem with that lamp? Whoa, I didn't know you were so attached to it, buddy. It was here before, then I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to use. Then I brought it back in here after it was over there. Cool. Make that money. The shelf is stuffed tight with files. Not really thinking about it, I picked one at random. Hmm. Oh, you have a sharp eye indeed to select that file. Oh yeah, I did that on purpose. Huh? Oh, totally. That's the report of a presidential assassination. The original is kept at the, at the National Library. <laughs> it won't it won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? <laughs> There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in for peeking at it. Okay. Without making a sound, I returned the file to the shelf. He's dealt with my mono coins. I have eight. <laughs> I doubt he's jealous. I think I have five, actually. Is he threatening us? <laughs> yes, he might be. So many files stuffed on the shelf. What's in all these things? That's enough. Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? Dangerous? Well, let's get dangerous. They detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a commoner. Do you mean like members of the diet or something? No, I mean the ones in real power. The secret con council controlling everything from the shadows. If you're not ready to- if you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There's some very interesting people in there. Guy Fieri? C you're just kidding, right? Hmm. Am I? I'll- I'll just let it go for now. The reptilians. Oh man, the ones under LA? <clears throat> There's a ton of thick files stuffed onto the bookshelf. <laughs> the LA lizard people? If you're thinking about looking up through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. It's the kind of thing any normal person wouldn't ever want to look at. Be careful. Huh? What do you mean? All those files are, are there are investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are, inter uh, are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh? Hmm. So, are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? The entire reason I was interested in the library is because of this room right here. Interesting. It's home to classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? Such That's your guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it a lie. Well, it's not that. It's just... It's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put all this together? Hmm. I suppose it goes to show how, how much power Hope Speak truly wields. Or perhaps... <laughs> the Mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Um, it's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. Hmm. What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that, like that are usually impossible. What? what do you mean, usually? Usual? Normal? Ordinary? Simple? Those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull out your punches, do you? Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? But what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? The documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there is no doubt. Hold on a second, you're saying you've read all these documents and more than once? But all this has to be like top secret confidential stuff, right? So why? Hmm. My family has a reading room just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. Huh? Hmm. Members of the Togumi family have access to any uh, to any variety of government-related documents. The, that includes foreign powers, as well as domestic. How is that possible? So in other words, I already told you there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. <laughs> My family is a member of that council. And I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the worlds in my will. <laughs> but to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world backwards and forwards. So whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. Which is why I can proclaim without a doubt that the materials gathered here are the real thing. Mr. Powerhouse Biaki, right? <coughs> this is beyond believing, uh, beyond believing or not believing. Babes, the ultimate rich boy, you're not wrong, Don. Biaki is actually starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. Hmm. And what always interested me the most were the cold case police investigation reports. Reading through those reports has always been a hobby of mine ever since I was little. You're a fucking freak. It's <laughs> <See, Lerman Erdie. laughs> It's excellent mental. Uh, it's excellent mental exercise. I solved more than one of those, a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports. And among all those reports, how can you fucking know that? One of my recent favorites is the Genocide Jack case. As he talked, Bianca grabbed a specific file from the shelf. That's right. This is the complete case. Uh, complete case file. 
Every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack cases has been co compiled in here. Hmm. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, there are two notable characteristics, characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. The first characteristic is that every, at every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And the second is that when the victims are murdered, their bodies are su suspended in a certain way. Bloodless is written in blood, and the victim's body is suspended. It's exactly the same as what happened to Ju uh, It's exactly what the same what happened to Chihiro. I'm, I'm losing I'm losing track of the shit. I'm losing track of who's talking. Save your surprise. The best part is yet to come. Hmm. For the second characteristic, where the victims are suspended, the only ones who knew about that particular fact were members of the police and other higher ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about that aspect of each crime. I was gonna say, we only ever mentioned the fact that the word bloodlust was written. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about the act of mounting the victim. Hmm. Now, if you can recall Chihiro's corpse, her body was most certainly mounted in this fashion. So, how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? That's right. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. So in other the words, culprit isn't a copycat killer. It's the real Genocide Jack. In other words, that, that right there is the evidence that Genocide Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. Then Genocide Jack really is... Such a brutal fiendish killer really is walking around among us! <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? I never imagined a killer with such a reputation would ever become part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. Such if you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. Uh, uh, um, Bianca, about the Genocide Jack case file, could you let me see it? That's fine. Well, you didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. <laughs> Feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Okay. Byaki handed me the file, and I flipped through it with, with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand stopped. I had reached the page where photos from the scene of each crime had all been collected. Damn, alright. The names of Genocide's Jack victims ran on for several pages. The bloodlust of the scissors using the murder were apparently custom-made. Oh, okay. I see what the scissors are for. I see who the scissors are for. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Arata, 32, Tetsuhiro Honda, 17, Soji, uh, Shoji Gaku, 23, Kano Ise, 14, Takeshi Yoshida, 30. A very humble dude, this Byakuya guy. <laughs> yeah. Komatsu Nataro, Takefumi Gono, Uchida Naohisa, uh, Takeshi Masamune, Yuto Yumejima. Uh, there was no end to it. But one thing me, uh, became perfectly clear as I read. All the killer's countless victims were killed and suspended in exactly the same way. And at the scene of every murder, the word bloodlust was left in the victim's own blood. Hmm. Now take a look at the next page, and you'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page? <laughs> Profiling results? All of the crimes took place either on weekdays at night or during holidays, either day or night. The most common time for the killings to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could be suggested that the su suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an, eye, uh, an, eye, an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely there was an, any external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from dissociative identity disorder. So in other words... Yeah. The key point here is that the culprit may well have a split personality. A split personality? Like, can you see on TV? So I'm, kind of, I'm part of another totally unbelievable story. But this one is way more unbelievable than anything up, else up till now. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my, my mind has gone numb. Nice! Genocide Jack case file in the truth Let's bullets. Alright, we should get going soon. Huh? Where are we going? Hmm. Anywhere but here. We finished our business here, haven't we? Wait, Byakuya! As usual, Byakuya turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. Well, this is where the, we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Huh? Just all of a sudden like that? I don't have time to Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? I was really hoping we wouldn't be, but yet here we are. Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. Just as quickly as he'd asked me to join him, he'd cut me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. 
At the same time, I'd uncover some really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack. He's the one that killed Chihiro. And that murderous fiend is one of us. But who is it? I have to find that out, no matter what it takes. And to do that, there's somewhere I have to go investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene, the girls' locker room. I have to check the boys' locker room, too. And the others might have come up with some info I might find useful while I'm at it. I need to find out everything I can. All right. Off we go. To the pool. Whoa, conclusions, Makoto. <laughs> All right. All right. Hifumi, what's up? Ding, ding, ding. Hifumi has discovered evidence revealing the identity of the culprit. <laughs> Another stat increase for me. Shut up. <laughs> evidence, what did you find? I can't reveal that just yet. But I guarantee that what I found will steal the killer's breath from his lungs. Oh, God, was he smart for all this? <clears throat> Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Mm. Oh, yeah, Miss Ludenberg said she'd witnessed something worthwhile, too. Really? What did she see? Well, she refused to tell me. It's like when a girl bullies the boy she likes, right? Right? Okay. So where is Celeste now? Mm. The warehouse by the dorms. She was there, but at the same time, not there. What's it gonna be? <laughs> all right. Well, I want to look at the body. I finally actually get to check the- yeah, I want to check the- I want to check the fucking body. Alright, there are a few things I want to check here. I want to talk to Kyoko, but before that, before I get interrupted a fucking again. <clears throat> let me go over some things here. The word bloodless written on the blood, blood just like all the other genocide jack cases. At every crime scene, the word bloodless is written in the victim's own blood. Alright, got it. What about this poster? It's the blood scene poster. The blood is the most noteworthy part, but... The big-breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable, too. A girl's locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd find something like this. Yeah, that's- that's fucking weird! That's not a clue! Alright. There's a blood stain on the carpet. It can only been- have, uh, have been caused by Chihiro's murder. Okay, yeah. And then let's look at the body. I can feel the life draining out of my own body. It's a dead body. A body right there. Chihiro's dead body. A body suspended between weight racks. Alright. Kyoko, I want to talk to you. Hey, Kyoko, have you made any progress in your investigation? Indeed. Generally speaking. However, but I have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? Well. <laughs> the body that's dead. That dead body that's hanging over there. Dead body. <laughs> Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But, but, so then. before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time. Thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girls' locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body, then. And Chihiro's handbook is missing? Cusco's poison. The poison for Cusco. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely worth worrying about. Nice! Chihiro's e-handbook has my out of the truth bolt section. Hell yeah. Alright. Is this... Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. Well, I better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Chihiro's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up in some kind of, in a kind of crucifix position. Huh? It's a, it's, a, it's an extension cord. The rope has a plug? Wait, so then this isn't a rope at all. But the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Jihiro's fatal injury was a blow to the head, which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right, there's the issue of her being suspended in the fatal blow. At first, I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. <clears throat> But seeing them again after looking through the Genocide Jack file, something's not quite right. All of them were stabbings. What does this all mean? Status of the dead body has been added to this truth bullet section of your handbook. Well, the one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to suspend Shihiro. And to figure that out, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. Plus, it might help to look at the Genocide case file one more time. Alright. You two got anything for me? Jihiro's presence here was especially weak. Her body and her soul. No forgiveness! To target such a helpless being, it's unforgivable. What a wretched beast to do such a thing! I... I cannot forgive this! Mondo? Dude, had a real complex about being weak. You heard Jihiro talk about it, right? Oh, I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more once, which explains the trip down here. And it's really not badly. Mention it. I already, yeah, I already got all this. Alright. You caught that too, Salsa? The door leads out to the pool. Oh, I want to go to the pool. I want to go to the boys' locker room. The thing is, there are only two people that would have known about that then. Is that... 
Genocide Jack knows how to, about killing. <coughs> Custom made scissors there. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I got two out of the fucking gotcha machine. Um, but there's two people that would have known about this. It would have been the killer, Genocide Jack, and Byakuya, who has reviewed the case files. So that's kind of weird. What the hell is this? It's a strange stain on the carpet. What is it? Boys' locker room carpet. That's weird. We got anything else here? We got the poster. Huh. This poster... It's a popular boy band called Tornado. It somehow doesn't quite seem to fit in the boys' locker room. Oh, but wait, that reminds me. The poster in the other locker room is... That's right. There's definitely something strange about this. In the boys' locker room, there's a poster of a popular boy band. In the girls' locker room, there's a poster of a big breasted swimsuit model. Could the posters have been switched? But if they were, why? What reason would, would anyone have? Maybe it's talk to someone who knows a little more about the locker rooms. Two locker room posters? Okay. So, since Makoto never got into the girls' locker room, that would have required someone to be fairly strong to move the exercise equipment to switch out the posters and... Okay. 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 Okay, I'm putting it together. I'm, I'm still pretty sure I know who it is. Um... Because of some minor spoilers that I got back in back when this first came out and everyone got we got really into it I think I've put it together. There's one bit that I don't really know uh, I'm not quite sure about and that's how uh, Leon's e-handbook was got destroyed <clears throat> uh, Let's talk to Sakura who spends a lot of time here. You spend a lot of time exercising the girls locker room, right Sakura? Of course. I've used it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes he and I use it together. Okay, then. Let me ask you something. Do you think the potion in the boys' and the girls' locker rooms could have been switched? I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't really say. I never really pay attention any, uh, paid any attention to the posters. I see. However... But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I, used to, I, think, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? Mm. In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down a glass of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day I spilled some on the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. Okay, so yeah, that was my thing. That was my thing. Is that it seems like Chihiro was killed in the boys' locker room and they switched the posters because they got blood on it and they got blood on the carpet. So they switched the carpet and the poster over to the girls' locker room to make it look like the girl, uh, uh, Chihiro was killed in the girls' locker room. A stain? But I don't see any stain on the carpet now. Of course. Exactly. I noticed it earlier. The stain has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, isn't it unusually clean? As if there was never a stain here to begin with. Disappearing stain! Has been out of your handbook. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, I am working with some minor spoilers on this one. So, I, I can only be so proud of, uh, of my deductions. How much time do I got? 20 minutes left, okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, so let's go in here um, to see about that extension cord. All right. The wooden box is empty. The extension cord was in there before. Okay. All right. Do the trial next time. That's what I'm hoping for. The desk lamp. You have to grab that one thing from there and put it over there. I'm sure it's dark over there. <laughs> That's funnier than it should be. <laughs> oh, man. Huh? The lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see. It's not plugged in. The lamp's cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet out from there. But last time I saw it, it was definitely on, and it was definitely right here. Oh, that's right. Biaki was using an extension cord. Makoto, ultimate detective. But there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... Nice! Library just comes out of the truth bullet section of your handbook! Hell yeah. Okay. 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 Wait, there's still something else here? Okay. Um... According to this letter, we got to stop functioning as a school. 
over a year ago. Yeah, I remember that. There's serious issues that forced it down. Hmm, that's my motive. You can find a present here. Or, okay, yeah, that was, I didn't need that. Um, what about the desk? There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. Maybe some kind of clue here. Guess not. Okay, well, thanks. Book! The shelf is packed out with books, but looking at it, maybe there's some kind of clue here. Guess not. Other book? Other book? That's everything correct? Yeah, that's everything. In this room, at least. So I guess I'll go back into here. Back into here. So what else we got? Um, there's just these books here. It's a report on President of the Assassin. It's really intriguing, but if it means I become his target, nope, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. It's talking about the secret council revealing the uh, kind of truth the counter shouldn't go near. So I guess I better not. I want to take another look at Genesis like Jack's case file. Okay, yeah, that's right. Hmm, I want... I know it's around here somewhere. Huh? It's gone! Fuck! Did someone take it out of the archive? But the only one who would do something like that... I can't think of anyone but Byakia! Hmm! Hmm! Ace Attorney flashbacks. <laughs> Hmm, very suspicious. Leave the area? Yes. All right, now I can leave. Okay. Who's where? Okay, that's, that's just whatever. Okay, so there's nothing on the peak, nothing in the gym. Uh, oh, I guess y'all are in... Oh, yeah, that, this is the... Not really... Okay, see you next time, Salsa. Have a good one. Glad you could join us. Okay, so I gotta go to the warehouse. That's right, because Celeste has something for me. And also, I can talk to Hina, who uses the gym a lot. And also, it's really fucking weird. I wonder what happens if I... Come on, work with me. What happens if I try to go to Chihiro's room? Kyoko, Taka, Mundo, uh, Sayaka, Byakuya. Jaka's <laughs> sprite's funny. Junko, Toko, uh, Chihiro. This is Chihiro's room. But now Chihiro is gone. Why? Why? Will you let me in? Alright, fine. Fine! I didn't want to anyway! Let's go talk to Celeste. <clears throat> Hello, Celeste. Celeste, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. I don't know what fucking accent Celeste has. <clears throat> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full, a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? Most unfortunate. I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought about... Uh, uh, thought about I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. Then did you find something? <laughs> Very well. I will tell you, and only you. Actually. Last night I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. What, really? Indeed. This was right before night time. Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Okay. I wasn't expecting this. Let me check out my smoothie a bit more. This, the cranberry juice is starting to settle. Oh, um, I was just... Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <laughs> you're right, Don. <laughs> it is blue. I can dig it. That was weird. She stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. <clears throat> it was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, indeed. I assume she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but... It would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly into the, to the girl's locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this would have happened. It would have uh, uh, happened. You get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently, 
She went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. But the strange thing is, there was no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag. Celeste said she saw Chihiro carrying, which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. Celeste, no! Celeste, count! Okay. All right. Okay, so where is it? Where be, where be it? I have an inkling. I have an inkling. I know where it is. I have an inkling I know where it be. Not 100% sure, but I have an idea. I do have an idea. Hina, what's up? What you got for me? Oh, Hina, how's Toko doing? Awful! <laughs> Same as before, she won't come out and she just keeps on mumbling something about Genocide Jack. <laughs> so I just left her there. I don't fucking blame you. You left her? My head was all swimmy and I was getting pretty hungry. Yeah. Oh, but don't worry, I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Toko's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. <laughs> not exactly pleasant. Speaking of which, what are you eating? Huh? A donut, of course! Of course? There's two things I'm sure God created, outer space and donuts. Really? It does look like a paperclip. <laughs> it does look like a paperclip. Mm. I bet your hero would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Oh, I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Mondo? Well... Yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like, like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Act uh, actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yeah, totally. Yep, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Mm. I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? Uh. Oh, wait, maybe. Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? You think so? I never really saw her as that kind of girl. Always a count. Hina, you're always here for the fucking pinch. Let me tell you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Getting tired of waiting. <laughs> Shall we just plunge right in? Thanks, asshole. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Alright, I'm gonna have to not do this. Trial. You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna take a while. See you soon. Let's go be a Begin the trash trap, trash the, the trash trial, the class trial, or it's about to begin. The red door is right through here. All right, well, I don't know if I'm supposed to find that duffel bag or not. That's a fucking shame. All right, let's save it. <clears throat> uh, do you wish to overwrite? Yes. Probably get on the trial prep screen if you want. Ah, we'll wait. This is a good build-up. This is a good way to end it here and just like, zoop, get right into it. Class trial all the way through. That hurt. <laughs> all right, let me just make sure I saved because I'm fucking paranoid. 1552. Yep, that tracks. I'm gonna save again anyway. Yes. All right. Well, I don't really got anything else going on right now. <sighs> so let's just let's all right let's just let's just do a, a brief overview of what's happening Shihiro's murdered <clears throat> I'm surprised uh by a certain thing that didn't come out in the investigation but we'll find that out probably we will we'll find it out next time um the, the rugs and the posters were clearly switched from the boys locker room to the girls locker room <clears throat> One for daily, one for investigation, third for street. Probably, yeah. Um, that definitely seems to be the pattern that we go on with this. Uh, but yeah, so like that. It definitely seems more like Chihiro was murdered in the boys' locker room, and then the killer got blood on the rug and on the poster, so they switched them over to the girls' locker room to make it look like uh, Chihiro was murdered in there instead. The question is, why in the boys' locker room? That would certainly explain how Leon's uh, e-handbook got broken, but how did it get broken in the first place, and how would the killer know how to do that? That's the one thing I'm still not sure on. 
Hmm. Also, where's the duffel bag? Where did that end up? Where did that go? My guess was my guess before I was able to before I got so rudely interrupted was that it was put in like it's still in the boys' locker room somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure on that now. The next question is why was Shihiro in the boys' locker room and not in the girls' locker room? <clears throat> Yeah, that was fun. This is, this is, I, I'm I am enjoying this immensely. Um, I was never like super interested in Dungan Rampa <coughs> before everything, because like uh, it came out in one during one of the pauses I think in Homestuck, and like a lot of Homestucks jumped over into it, and so I got to see some spoilers, <laughs> some of which are tying into this case actually. But yeah, I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Next time, the, the class trial. How to be doing thing? I tell you, Christ. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I forget who who has played through and gotten through Dongan Rampa in the chat right now. Who is experiencing this for the first time, along with me? Even though I have plenty of spoilers that are backing me up and are helping me in this case. You watch the playthrough, first time, Serax. Finally see this game. <clears throat> Watched all of it, not played myself. Okay, cool. Cause we got a couple of people here who haven't seen it yet. Makoto's got a small neck. Holy crap, he does. <laughs> Watch the playthrough, cool. <clears throat> Makoto's, I mean, yeah, he's crotch height for everybody. <laughs> when you're walking around the, around the school. <laughs> <coughs> and first timer for Seb 2. Awesome. So it's like about half people right now who haven't seen what's about to happen. Ah, Chihiro, really? I was really looking forward to becoming friends with Chihiro too, because Chihiro is so sweet. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> the roll, the dice roll, worked against me. I thought it was later. I knew Chihiro died. I will say that was one of the spoilers I did know, but I thought it was later in the game. So I thought at least after befriending Sakura, I'd, be, I'd get a chance to befriend Chihiro. Not the case, apparently. Damn, man. <laughs> Fuck. That's, I was like, oh, cool, you know, like after Sakura, we'll see. Oh, we're all to die. We lose a D10 now, but, you know, chances of being Chihiro now are, are even better. Damn it. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you can play school one? Oh, fair enough. Is there much of a story, or is it kind of just like a, hey, uh, you can befriend the people you didn't get a chance to because they died, and you couldn't make friends with them before they died? <clears throat> also, Byakuya sucks. <laughs> like, just flat out. He's just an arrogant prick. And it was just like, just let me do my thing, man. I'll find out without your fucking, your shitty attitude. <clears throat> Let's see, I wonder what kind of um, extras I got going, actually. Oh, there's where no one dies? Oh, interesting. Okay. I don't understand why everyone loves him either, because I knew he was an asshole. I have four, excuse me. Um, but, like, everyone fucking loved him. Let's see, uh, the event gallery. What events do we have here? Yeah, we got, I love that they have this little section here where you can look at the art that goes into everything, like all the character intros and everything. He's an interesting character, horrible person. He's awful, he really is. Mondo, <laughs> there's, oh man. This here, it's fucking brutal. Let's friend some over again. Yeah, I mean, it basically would be. At that point, it's just, it's just like a, that's my, it's just a friend simulator, it's just a dating sim. No one dies? What kind of game is that? Yeah, but the problem is it costs mono coins. So I have like my main playthrough that you guys are seeing, where I play through it on the stream and I save my mono coins for the gifts, but then I have to have a second playthrough where I basically just hold down control. 
or I mashed the control key and skip through all the dialogues to get to the same point while still trying to hunt down mono coins. So I can then get the screen grabs for the thumbnails for later. <coughs> it's funny if you know what you're doing, you can get through a trial in like 15 minutes. There's Sayaka's video, the first class trial, dying message of Leon, morning exercise where they T pose on each other. Let's just go through all the memories here. There's a sauna showdown. I actually did use that in the last thumbnail. I think I put that behind Sakura and blurred it out. The envelope secrets. Toko's horrific visage. The genocide jack file. Oh, was there another one that I missed here? I don't know. Genocide jack photos. Jihiro and Celeste. It's a lot of work. It's It doesn't sound as bad as, especially like now having a process for how I do it. The longest thing is that when you grab, when I grab the characters I always put in the foreground, I have to use um, the cutout tool in GIMP. I don't remember what it's called, but you have to go and like make sure it looks good, like cut them out entirely, copy them, put them over top of the background. I also like to alter um, the background colors to contrast with whatever primary color is associated with the character I put. So like with the trolls, it was easy. It was always their blood color or it became their blood color or the like, home homestuck characters, their associated color in general, like with the kids. Um, but with this one, it's like I took whatever primary color from their their character introductions. Let's get up there. So like for Sakura's, I grabbed this brown, the brown color and put it behind her as like kind of the shadow. And then behind her, the contrasting complementary color to that was a bluish type of color. So I changed the background to a blue, uh, crank the saturation up, make sure it looks all kind of blue color, and then blur it as the background. So you can see there's something to the background, but you're still focusing on the character in front. I've been tossing around the ideas of showing you guys my process of like editing and making thumbnails because I think it, it, it's interesting for me and it's fun for me. It's time consuming, but it's I, I enjoy doing it. It's very cathartic, very relaxing, I guess. It's like why I like doing um, HTML and CSS and things like that. It's very, very uh, just relaxing. It's, it's weird. <clears throat> Aesthetic thumbnails brought to you by Brokenness. <laughs> it's just, I, I don't know. It's just the most interesting way of doing it for me. Um, because it's focus on who the character you want to focus on. It's kind of tricky with this game because I don't want to give away any spoilers. So it's like last week's uh, thumbnail was fine because like, oh, I spent I spent the whole time befriending Sakura. I'll just use Sakura because it doesn't give anything away. Um, but like with this one, it's like, do I want to put Chihiro as the thumbnail? But then it's like, oh, Chihiro dies, which really isn't that big of a deal, I guess. Like you watch and go, oh, whatever. Um, but like if I was to put, like if I was to put Leon in the the one for Sayaka's trial. That's a little like, oh, I don't want to give away spoilers in the thumbnails. Um, I might do Chihiro for this one. That wouldn't be a bad one. Like if you know what's coming up, you know what's gonna happen. But you just spend a lot of time. Biakia. You know, you're not wrong. That was a lot of Biakia time. Biakia or Chihiro is a good one for this one. That's a good point, Ayote. You like my thumbnail? Thanks, Greenshi. <clears throat> I'm I'm still tossing about doing like down like in the future at some point, like doing a stream of like me editing a video or doing a thumbnail or something like that. But I am going to call it here now uh, because I'm out of things. <laughs> we, I hope you guys enjoyed this because, man, I, I am really enjoying this. And I'm enjoying playing it and having you guys look. Well, I'm going to be Akia. How about that? <laughs> so anyway, to everyone in the chat, uh, thank you so much for watching and hanging out and chatting up and talking and everything. Thanks to Riot for the follow. Um, I hope you guys had a good time because I had a good time. It was a lot of fun. Um, and to everyone watching on YouTube later, if you liked it, make sure you click the like button down below and subscribe to keep up with my stuff. New video every 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, excuse me. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I do have, I do take every fourth Sunday off, so every fourth Wednesday is off. But there's a link down in the, my Twitch channel uh, in the description, so you can see there and see my schedule and everything like that. Um, and comment, what was your favorite part about this? Was it uh, hanging out with Sakura one last time, or was it starting the investigation for Chihiro's death? <laughs> Damn, son. Um, but share with your friends also. Helps build the community. If you have people who couldn't play Danganronpa, didn't want to take the time to play Danganronpa, or just straight up didn't have time to play Danganronpa, show them this. Play it to go play it together. We'll have a good time. We'll have a grand old time watching watching people get murdered and then solving those murders. Yeah, anyway, again, thanks everyone in the chat for hanging out today. Hope you all have a good one. Please stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. Get some sleep. Be safe out there in the world. Please. Take care of yourselves, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Later, everyone.